Welcome to Vacation Tracker, the world's best PTO management solution designed to help you manage time off with confidence. In this demo, we'll be taking a tour of the platform and highlighting some of the key features that our customers love so much. But before we dive in, there are two quick things to keep in mind. First, while Vacation Tracker is available for multiple platforms, this video will only be focusing on the web app because we don't want to keep you here all day. Second, even though this demo is in English, the platform does support multiple languages and you could switch to your preferred one at any time in your account settings. When you first log into Vacation Tracker, you'll be taken to the dashboard. What you see here is going to depend on what role you've been given, either as a user, approver, or admin. Users have the lowest level of permissions, allowing them to perform basic actions like requesting leave, receiving notifications, or viewing the company calendar. Approvers are the next level up. They can do everything users can, plus approve or reject employee leave requests, just as the name suggests. And finally, there are the admins, who have the highest level of permissions and can manage all settings in the account. Since admins have full control over the platform, we're going to continue the demo from their perspective. From the dashboard, there is a heat map that provides a quick at a glance view of your team's availability. If you scroll further down, you'll see any pending requests from users you are an approver for with the option to either approve, deny, or edit the request. You can also see all the upcoming leave within your own company simply by switching tabs. Right underneath the dashboard in the left hand menu, we have the calendar. From here, you can see a more traditional view of vacations, holidays, and any other type of leave you choose to track. You also have the option to sync this calendar to your own and filter the data for real-time updates that are relevant to you. Another useful view that you have at your disposal is the wall chart. It displays all users or a selected group, giving you a day-by-day -day outlook on who's working and who's not. Perfect for planning projects. To get the most out of these views, you'll need to make sure your leave types, locations, and departments are set up in the settings section. So let's walk through how to do that, starting with the first on the list, leave types. Leave types are the options employees can choose from when requesting time off, and they can be fully customized to match your company's leave policies. When creating a leave type, you can decide if approval is needed, set the quota, choose the shortest leave duration, and much more. There are also some additional settings we can choose to activate once it is applied to a location, but we'll go over those at a later time. Once created, leave types can be turned on or off, edited or deleted at any time. Next up, we have locations. With locations, you can organize teams by where they work, whether they're in different countries, cities, or even specific offices that have unique policies. When you assign leave policies to a location, you can also choose to enable accruals, brought forward, or time off in year for each one. Using accruals, leave is accrued over time at regular intervals instead of being given all at once, and you get to decide the pace, ranging from monthly all the way down to weekly. With brought forward, any unused leave will be carried over into the next year based on your set rules, like adding a cap or an expiration date. And lastly, by activating time off in a year, you can offer time off as compensation for overtime instead of paying for extra hours. Besides assigning leave policies, it is here where you can also set your public holidays and configure your work week settings. For these holidays, they can be automatically imported based on your country or manually added if need be. Last on our list for setup is departments. Departments and by extension sub-departments or where you can divide your users into groups. This is where you set up the approval process between managers and employees, including whether or not multiple approvals are needed. One key thing to remember here is that while approvers can be in multiple departments, each user can only belong to one. Now, if you're an organization that happens to have some uncommon leave policies, you're going to want to check out our add-on section. Here you'll find additional tools to automate those unique cases such as blackout periods, seniority entitlement, entitlement by role, and the list goes on. 
Speaking of policies, they wouldn't mean much without users to follow them, so you're going to want to add them as soon as you're ready. In the menu, clicking on the user section gives you an overview of everyone in your account, including inactive or deleted members. Each user has access to their own profile where they can check their lead balance and history at any time. As an admin, you have access to the full list of users, while approvers can only see users in their own departments and regular users can only view their own profile. You can add new users or sync existing ones whenever you need. From this view, if you select a user, you'll be taken to their profile where you'll find key details like their start date, department, role, working days and hours, and of course, their allotted leave quotas. Each leave type has its own tab and you can choose to view this information for the current period, the past, or the future. But that's not all. At the top, you'll find two extra tabs, one that contains all their leave history and another that logs all the actions made to the user's profile. On this profile page, you can customize labels to tag and organize users by projects, seniority, or anything else that fits your needs. You can then use these labels to sort information on any page where filtering is available. Each user also has access to their own account settings, where they can connect their personal calendar to automatically block time off and send out of office messages. They can change their preferred language and turn dark mode on or off in these settings as well. Going back to filtering, one place where it really comes into play is the notifications section. As you'd expect, notifications keep you in the loop on who's out and who's about to be by sending you updates straight to your preferred channel, whether that's Teams, Slack, or just plain old email. You have full control over your notifications, so create as many as you need to and customize each one by selecting who receives them, when they go out, and how frequently they're sent. If it ever feels like too much, you can always edit your notifications or even turn them off temporarily. Another section where filters come in handy is with reports. In this area, you can generate and export a variety of reports depending on what information you're looking for. Each report type has a separate card where you can see a brief explanation of what it covers and for each report, you can also apply filters to further refine the data. When you're ready, export it as a CSV or Excel file, or even schedule reports to be sent automatically, just like notifications, with similar options to filter and adjust the timing. Finally, now that we've covered the basics of getting set up and how everything works, let's wrap up with what is arguably the most important part for your employees, requesting and approving time off. Employees can request time off using the dashboard or directly in Slack or Teams, they just need to pick the leave type, select the dates, and add a reason if needed. As they make the request, there won't be any uncertainty as they can quickly see if anyone else from the department is off and how it will affect the remaining leave balance. Managers responsible for approving requests will get notified the moment it is submitted. And just like requesting time off, if they're on Slack or Teams, they'll see it there too. From this point on, they just need to decide whether they will approve, deny, or edit the request. But regardless of the outcome, employees will be notified as soon as the decision is made and the button is clicked. And now it's your turn to start managing time off with confidence. Start a seven day free trial at any time with no commitments and put everything you've learned into practice. Or if you have specific questions, you can always book a demo with our sales team. If you're curious about how our integrations work with Slack, Microsoft Teams, or other platforms, check out our follow-up videos. We create separate demos for each integration so you can watch the one that's most relevant to you. You can find them either on this page or in the description below if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching and happy vacationing!